Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain the ball poem written by John Berryman. John Berryman was an American poet and scholar. He was a major figure in American poetry in the second half of the 20th century. His best known work is the dream songs. And the ball poem is one of his notable works. What we find here in the poem? We find a boy playing with a ball. Suddenly, the ball slips from the hand of the boy and it merely bounces into the water. The boy stands there just like a statue of stone. And ultimate sadness affects, captures the boy. Everything happens in front of the poet. But the poet does not interfere into the boy's matter. The poet knows that with, uh, with one dime means 10 cents worthless value the ball is. It could be replaced. But the poet wants the boy to learn the responsibility. The boy has lost something for the first time. Therefore, the boy is gaining knowledge about the loss. Because there are many things the boy will lose throughout his long life. But it is not possible to replace everything. The boy, this is the art of possession and everybody is trying to drag, to grab something. Therefore, the boy has to learn and has to stand up when something valuable he will lose. He will lose some dear ones and that will never be replaced by anything or with money. Therefore, the boy has to learn it. This is the main theme of the poem. Let's see line wise. What happens here? What is the boy now who has lost his ball? Means how is the boy? How is the condition of the conditions of the boy? who has just lost the ball. What? What is he to do? Means what he will do, who has just lost the ball. I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street. I, I mean say the poet. So, what did he see? He saw the ball slipped out from the hand of the boy and it merrily bounced down the street and it finally fell in the, into the water body. And then merrily over there it is in the water. Finally, it fell in the water body. So what did the boy, poet see? The poet saw that a boy was playing with a ball. By chance, the ball slipped from the hand of the boy and it merrily bounced down the street and finally it fell into the water. No, he used to say, oh, there are other balls. It is useless to say to the boy, don't get panic. There are so many balls and it can be replaced. So don't get panic. It is useless to say, the poet thought so. And ultimate second grief fixes the boy already. And ultimate sadness captured the boy, affected the boy. And the boy, just like a statue of stone, was looking at the ball. And it went away floating in the water. 
He says the boy as he stands rigid. Rigid actually means what? Just stiff. Means standing just like a statue of stone, trembling, shivering in grief, in anger, staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went. All his young days actually means what happens? The boy had played with the ball for a long time. But when the ball fell in the water body when the boy lost the ball as if he lost his childhood. You must remember this is a metaphorical, the ball here metaphorical, means a metaphor. Why? Because the lost ball represents the lost of the childhood of the boy. Therefore, the ball here metaphor. And what happened then? I would not intrude on him. The poet doesn't want to intrude, means interfere into the boy's matter. Why? Because he wants the boy learn or gain the knowledge of loss, knowledge of responsibility. What are the poetic figures are used here? Let's see. What, what? What, what? Actually means what happens? Here, what, what that is a repetition. A repetition is a figure of speech where words or phrases are repeated in a same line. Therefore, what happens here? What, what is here? The both the word what are repeated, repeated here. That's why it is repetition. A dime, another ball is worthless. A dime means 10 cents. And with 10 cents, and the ball can be purchased. So therefore, it is worthless. It is valueless. Now, he senses past responsibility. But the poet wants the boy learn his past responsibility. The knowledge of loss. In a world of positions, this is the world of positions. Means what happened? Everybody is trying to grab something. Therefore, they all are running after earthly positions, wealth, prosperity, fame. People will take balls, balls will be lost always, little boy. So what happens people? Everyone is trying to grab someone else's property, someone, someone else something. So the boy, in the way of his life, will lose many things. And the boy has to understand that. Therefore, he has to adjust himself. That's why the poet doesn't want to interfere into the poet's matter, into the child's matter. And no one buys a ball back. And nobody is going, here the poet can buy another ball for the boy. But on the way of life, the boy will lose many things and everyone will not come forward. With, uh, to replace whatever the boy will lose. Money is external. Money doesn't matter. Because there are many things which can be purchased or bought by money or with money. So, money is external. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes, desperate eyes. That means the eyes that it full of despair. The boy is upset because he has just lost his ball. The, the epistemology of loss, the knowledge of loss, the boy is gaining first time for the first time. Because the boy just has lost a ball. Therefore, he is gaining the knowledge of loss. How to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up because every man everything will happen means everyone in everyone's life there will once come who will lose his dear ones and those things cannot be replaced with money that's why here money is called external 
And the boy has to understand that. That there are so many things. And the boy will lose one by one. And everything cannot be replaced. But the boy has to stand up against those situations. Flight. So this is the poem. The meaning of the poem. Now let's see the rhyme, the uh, poetic figure, poetic devices. What happens? Balls, balls. Here twice the word ball is used. That is what, as I told you, repetition. What is a repetition? A repetition is a poetic figure where words or phrases are repeated in the same line. Here it is repeated. Another point of figure is there. Buy is a ball back. Buy is a ball back. That means what? Alliteration. Bo, bo, bo sound is repeated. Alliteration is a figure of speech where the consonant sound is repeated. Here, consonant sound is repeated. So, that's all. And here, the poem is written in free verse. So, no rhyming scheme. Free verse, it is written. So, that's all about the poem. If you have still any confusion, please write in the comment section. And you will get all the NCRT solutions in the description box. It is given the link. Please, if you are new, so subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.